Welcome to That's My Biz, the internet business showcase where we bring exposure to products, services, and special causes of local businesses and organizations. Thank you so much for joining us. We are coming to you live from the BizLinks TV studio. Brought to you by Southeast Computers, repairs, upgrades, custom builds, and restorations, southeastcomputersatl.com. Hi everyone, I'm Pamela Alexander and welcome to another episode of That's My Biz. As always, we enjoy bringing to you the wonderful businesses, organizations, and nonprofits that we meet when we're out there networking because we really want you to know about them and make sure you reach out to them. We have a business here today that we really want you to know about and that's New Image Entertainment, Mr. Tony and Trisha Sanders. Welcome. Thank Hi. you for having us. Thank absolutely, you for having us. absolutely. We are just excited to bring you all on today mm -hmm. to tell you a little bit about New Image Entertainment. Their sole purpose is to enhance an artist's God given talent by providing consistent and effective support services that prepares an artist to be able to compete in the music industry. Yeah. And they do that in a number of ways. They um, house a booking agency, artist development, management, social media marketing services, and they have a radio show. So they've got a lot going on on a lot of resources available um, to the artists out there. So first of all, first off, I want to start by asking you all, why did you start your own entertainment company though? Um, I, I came up in the music industry. Okay. So uh, my family, we're like, we were like the Jacksons, you know, everybody <laughs> sung or everybody did something okay. in the music industry. So it was kind of like in my blood. Mm -hmm. um, and as, as often as I would try to get away from it, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> It would pull me right, right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, when we moved here, we actually came here with a, with a totally different, different business. business yeah. Okay. It was credit uh, education. It was credit education. Okay. And, and uh, we worked that business for about two years when we first moved here uh, in 2007. And then in 2009, um, we bought a beauty salon. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, we bought it in 2008 or 2009, 2009 uh, or so. And we bought a beauty salon. And in and, and that time, you know, you meet all kinds of different people. Mm -hmm. Well, in the interim, we ran into a celebrity that um, that gravitated to me and uh, asked me to manage him. Mm -hmm. So um, I said, well, okay, well, I'll put my management hat back on because I had a management mm -hmm. company in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. And uh, I put my hat back on and started managing him, and it just kind of really took off from there. It took, mm -hmm. a, it took a life of its own, mm -hmm. and uh, we, you know, we we uh, we found a new passion for. Well, uh, just I don't want to interrupt, but no, I'm no, going to interrupt. Go ahead, interrupt. It wasn't a new passion. We've oh, always right. had passion okay. for music. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. love, love, love music. Okay. When we were living in uh, Dayton, Ohio, we actually uh, had a band called Pure Onyx. Okay. So we would go around and sing. Okay. But that's why we started the entertainment. Okay. So company. I was going to ask, did you come up in music as well? I yeah. actually, well, yeah. I didn't. No. But my sister okay. no, and yeah, I, we no. sing. Yeah. Okay. We were like the kids in the family that could sing. Okay. So our mom and our uncle would make us sing. Okay. Our family. Right. Like, Right, right. <laughs> and I always had the dream of doing it, but I never really pursued it because okay. I was kind of shy. Okay. So when okay. I met up with my now husband, uh -huh. and we both had some of the same interests, mm -hmm. it just seemed like it was something okay. that we should do. I, I kind of, I, I had kind of lost my luster for the music okay. industry, and so when I met her, she wanted to do a band mm -hmm. thing. Okay. I didn't, but I put okay. a band together for her. Okay. And I was in the band. Okay. So. <laughs> Um, when that kind of when we decided to move from Ohio to Atlanta, because we were doing that in our in our credit business, mm -hmm. and so that's the only thing we were doing in the music industry at the time, and so when we moved here to Atlanta, and we finally went all the way back into the music industry, okay. then I did. Okay. I rediscovered a love mm -hmm. for it. Okay. Yeah, okay. a passion for the independent artists mm -hmm. okay. because I see that there's a lot of things that's not. Uh, available for them, mm -hmm. and there's so many people who promise them things that they can't actually deliver. Mm -hmm. okay. So, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I I just jumped in with okay. both feet. So, so you you got started by uh, helping a particular artist and managing mm -hmm. that artist. Mm -hmm. So yes. now, tell me a little bit of the difference in artist management and then artist development. Um, artist management, there is a big difference between artist management and artist development. Mm -hmm. Artist management, you know, and most people think they want a manager and they mm -hmm. actually need artist development. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but most artists, independent artists I'm talking about, um, they call you and they'll say, I need a manager, mm -hmm. and they really have nothing to manage. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, generally, when you, when, you, when you need a manager, you're generally, uh, your brand has uh, been so effective that you have become... Mm -hmm. um, uh, very prominent in the music okay. industry okay. to where mm -hmm. you're getting people are coming to you okay. 
and asking you to come and do work. Do work, okay. yeah. So you and actually so, have something, so you have to, something manage. To, right. to manage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so you I, all do help, though, on that. On that art. Do you find that you're helping more on the artist development side then as opposed to the management? We get more calls. It's for management. Okay. For management. Yeah. Right. But they don't understand they need yeah, development. They don't so, we, right. so, yeah. so we have to explain to them mm -hmm. that artist development, you know, you need, do you have a brand? We ask mm -hmm. some questions like, do you have a brand? Is your brand known? Okay. Um, uh, yeah, we how, check their yeah, numbers, we check like their the Twitter, numbers, Facebook, yeah. and all that. Because yeah. that's very important. Yes. Like, if you're looking for a record deal, mm -hmm. if you want a distribution okay. deal, if you want venues or promoters mm -hmm. to hire you, okay. they're going to look at your numbers. If okay. they see right. you got five followers and you don't have any engagement right. on mm -hmm. your Facebook page, then they're going to know that you probably won't bring mm -hmm. anybody to their clubs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of independent mm -hmm. artists, they're not Correct. educated mm -hmm. on that fact. Okay. All Correct. they know is their talent. Yeah. Okay. I can rap. I'm going to make you guys okay. And rich. every And every so, artist is yeah. the best artist since yeah. Slice yeah. Bread. Of course. And they're going to make you millions. Right. You know well, you know, I mean? and that sounds like, you know, we see that in the business world oftentimes um, when people start as entrepreneurs, you know, it's because they bake the best pies and someone mm -hmm. says, yeah. you need to start mm -hmm. a, a pie mm -hmm. business or a bakery. Mm -hmm. And then you find out that, yes, they have that particular skill, Mm -hmm. But in right. growing that business is something, something different. different. Yeah. Something so, different. so what services do you all provide the artists? Well, we, go ahead. <laughs> we have, uh, of course, the online marketing, like social media. Okay. We have radio, uh, airplay. Uh, and teach so you how to do it properly. Okay. Properly, yeah. like. For instance, like signing up, getting your rights together for your songs. Yeah, that's the, songs, that's the music, the music business. business. We have a music business mm -hmm. session. Okay. We have. We also have uh, sessions that do grooming mm -hmm. and and do okay. uh, makeup, mm -hmm. uh, hair, okay. mm -hmm. stage, uh, presence. stage presence, okay. Okay. production. So now all of these classes that you all offer, or you just do this more services consulting with one particular artist and oh, just taking no. them through that. Well, yeah, we don't like to refer to them as classes. Okay. They're, they're more sessions. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Because uh, we find that um, most artists mm -hmm. don't like to go to class. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. You got to be creative. Get them to but, it. Okay. But they do like going to sessions, okay. you know, studio sessions, production okay. sessions, different okay. things of that nature. Okay. So we have sessions that we do with them. Mm -hmm. okay. And those sessions actually help mold them into mm -hmm. okay. learning the things about the industry mm -hmm. and not only learn the thing about the industry but applying those things to their career okay. so that, that their careers will become the actual window that people can look through and say okay. hey I like that okay. you know mm -hmm. what I mean okay. so yeah that's what we we, we know so it's, it's actually a whole molding process okay. it's what the record labels aren't doing anymore okay. yeah we're is, trying yeah. to impact yeah. their mentality because an artist a lot of times they're just thinking I'm just an artist right. but actually they are a brand they're right. a business they're business yes. they're yes. Not just an entertainer, so you got to know a lot of different yeah. things about yeah. the business. Yeah, I've, I've definitely yeah. run into to several that um, see themselves as artists, and and you notice that they're kind of over on the side. Mm -hmm. They're not networking. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be the ones talking yeah. and all of that. Yeah. They they want to be yeah. the artist. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't want to be yeah. the one that's mm -hmm. out there growing their mm -hmm. brand and think exactly. that's where the manager yeah. comes in. Yeah. So then you all work with them to help them get mm -hmm. out of that mindset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and okay. I, we teach them to listen. Look at your team. Look at the people that are around you. Look at the people who love what you're doing. Build your team. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you don't want to be the person that's out front doing all those things, you want to always be the star with the sunglasses on, <laughs> right, sitting right. in the back of the room. <laughs> if that's what you want to be, mm -hmm. then you have to understand that you have to put people around you that mm -hmm. can really handle right. your mm -hmm. business. Right. And that's not necessarily a man manager, okay. necessarily. Okay. It can just be team members. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you can self-manage until you have something to manage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but you have to have a team that yeah. can actually help you build that. Right. Yeah, but yeah. With, I'm sorry, but with building that team, mm -hmm. you got to make sure they're effective mm -hmm. and they have a passion for you okay. and your brand, okay. and okay. they actually have to know what they're doing. Yeah. Okay. If they're going to make yeah. an impact, yeah. don't just get artist. your homeboy off yeah. the block. Right. Just because yeah. your homeboy, right? Yeah, because he may not he may not see your vision. I tell I tell people all the time when they sit in the chair in front of me. I say, listen, you're the pastor of your church, mm -hmm. and so you you know most pastors, uh, people who come to the church actually can see their vision. Mm -hmm. Because the pastor has wrote down that vision and made it plain. Mm -hmm. I tell people, write down your vision, make it plain, because I can't follow you if I don't know where you're going. Right. I can get in the car with right. you, come to my house, you blow right. your horn, and, and right. when you blow your horn, and, and I you didn't call me previously mm -hmm. to come and to right. tell me where we were going, yeah. the first thing I'm going to ask you when, I'm in the car, when I get in the car going? is, where are we going? Right, exactly. So if you want me to ride in the car with you, tell me where we're going so mm -hmm. that, you know, even if I know a quicker way to get there, mm -hmm. I can say, hey, turn left up here because there's a quicker way. Or, okay. or when I came this way earlier, there was an accident up the road. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go around. Right, yeah. exactly. So now, who are the types of artists that you work with? Now, is it, is it just music? Is it a particular genre? Or, you know, who do you mm -hmm. all work with? 
well here so far it's just it's been, been, it's been artists music. it's been okay. music yeah. Yeah. we've worked with uh we work with a playwright but a lot of times with mm -hmm. them it's not really us managing them we're okay. normally just branding right. or building their online presence okay. electronic press kit their okay. website but uh, really social media any artist though. yeah but we no, deal with pretty much any no, artist okay. that's a business okay. yeah, yeah. If, you're, if you're an artist okay. uh, we want to teach you how to become a business okay. mm -hmm. how to okay. brand yourself yes. so it doesn't matter whether you're an actor or model or mm -hmm. a singer I mean it just so happens that in Atlanta mm -hmm. it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, right. yeah singing artists right. and celebrities mm -hmm. and different things of that nature so we tend to because of what we do and what we've mm -hmm. done in the industry over the years that we've been in it because uh, I've been in the business for 27 years okay. and uh, it's 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 because of who we've dealt with we draw more yeah. with the majority okay. Okay. of musical clients now do you all prefer to work with those just starting out or ones that actually do come with some experience and some following that may have kind mm -hmm. of a semblance of a brand out there well, we really don't have a preference because I love artists that have already arrived. Okay. And we love the independent artists. Okay. We truly yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. We don't really have a preference. <laughs> on the management like end would probably be the ones that are more, more yeah. uh, established. Yeah. Okay. On the artist development end, it will be the ones yeah. that are trying to get to the next step. But we love them stage both. In there. So, yeah. okay. so yeah. we take... Take them off. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Male, female, do you have more of one or the other or prefer more males? More males. Yeah. We do have more males. Uh, oh, it's about even. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Kaya. Yeah, yeah, it's about even. Yeah, you're it's right. About okay. Even. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I think we're working more with females now than mm -hmm. there are males. Mm -hmm. We are. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. and most of our males are celebrities. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and most now, of Now, what's our, the difference when you say they're celebrities? Uh, you, they're celebrities. Okay. Like real you know, celebrities. Well known. Like well known yeah. celebrities. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, okay. You know, for instance, uh, I can call a couple of names. Okay. Tommy Ford. Mm -hmm. Work with him. Uh, we work with Tony Terry. Okay. We've worked with uh, Glenn, Glenn Jones. Jones. Okay. Mm -hmm. You okay. know, uh, some of those uh, R&B legends. Uh, uh, those of you youngins who don't know that. <laughs> those people are. Those but are, ask your mom. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Right. Some of you here because of them. <laughs> That's <laughs> but, right. But outside of that, I mean, you know, we you know we get a lot of um, clients who actually have established themselves in the industry, and we do some managing for mm -hmm. them. Okay. And then we those that um, that are up and coming artists, mm -hmm. we we tend to try and okay. and uh, you know just steer them to the mm -hmm. artist development. But you got oh, some that yeah. are really strong. They have a strong mm -hmm. fan base. Okay. Yes. You know, and we will, you know, mm -hmm. we will uh, mm -hmm. sit down and, mm -hmm. and talk about managing them mm -hmm. okay. because they do have okay. something to manage. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So for some of the ones that are, are starting up, um, have you had some that just have you found are not coachable? Not Lord, yes we okay. have. Hallelujah. <laughs> But we'll still uh, check on them from time okay. to time. Yeah. But sometimes they're just not ready. Okay, it's okay. not their time. Mm -hmm. But after a while, we have to, we find that we're continuing to say the mm -hmm. same thing over and right. over and over. Yeah. They know yeah. more than we do. Okay. Okay. So and you know, when you know more than I do, I mean, yeah. you don't yeah. need me. Right, yeah. exactly. You, know, you don't need yeah. me. So yeah. we get we get some artists that are um, just stars in their own mind. Mm -hmm. And when they are and they stars, shall. yeah, right. and when they're right. stars right. in their own mind, it's really hard to deal with them. I got you. You know, it's different when you are you know um you know i i recall s certain situations where i had one artist you know uh i will uh uh i will uh not use the name Don't to protect the innocent <laughs> uh but i you know, i had a celebrity and i had an up-and-coming artist okay. and my up-and-coming artist was so famous in his own mind okay that he would at times get jealous mm -hmm. of what we would do with the the actual celebrity right you know and he would he would actually believe that he was more important mm -hmm. and not that he wasn't just as important mm -hmm. but he would believe that he was more important mm -hmm. than the celebrity yeah. and uh you know and I I would have to sit him down and say look yeah. let me show you these contracts right here mm -hmm. And let me show you your contracts. And I would open his folder and it would be empty. Mm -hmm. And so so I would say, so you you have to understand that priority, mm -hmm. you know, when, when I'm dealing with a celebrity, a yeah. celebrity has expectations mm -hmm. and they put a lot of demands mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, he I, it was, you know, you get those kind of 
clients and then when you deal with them for so long you have to say okay right. listen and stop yeah. for mm-hmm. yeah. to maybe move in yeah. a and, different and we find a lot of times people don't realize that it, it takes years to become an overnight it success it does but I think yeah. with especially young people mm-hmm. all they they're uh, they're about the here and now, right? And they see celebrities yeah, when they're all right. they're a star, right. yeah. but yeah. they're not thinking yeah. about what. Well, dang, I wonder if they worked hard right. to get right. there. And so this is a competitive market. It's a very competitive, competitive market. Yeah. And, now, and it's it's not the same as it okay. used to be. Yeah, I mean, you just, back in the day, yeah. you could be walking in the mall right. and singing a song, and the producer roll by you, and you know, hey, yeah. hey, why don't you come to the studio? And then they before you know it, you're overnight success because they're connected with some major record company. Well, those 70 and something record companies aren't around anymore. There's mm-hmm. only four or five major labels left. Mm-hmm. This is an independent world. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, we got what, social media now, yeah. so many people yeah. being yes. found yeah. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Talk about that a little bit, because I know you talk about social mm-hmm. media and yeah. teach more on social media mm-hmm. with the artists, and where people are hoping they're gonna, their video's going to mm-hmm. go viral, they're going to yeah, get yeah. found, yeah. and all that. Talk about that a little bit. Let everyone kind of know what's the, the real story behind all that, what really happens. Well, all of us, you know, when we post some up, even with myself, mm-hmm. I want it to go viral. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But right. it just doesn't happen like yeah. that yeah. most of the time. Yeah. There's strategy behind it. Yeah. There's content creation. Uh, there's target marketing. Mm-hmm. Like if you're a hip-hop artist, mm-hmm. you want to find those people that love, that are interested in mm-hmm. uh, hip-hop. Like I use a lot of Facebook ads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to pay yeah. for that. It's not yeah. free. Yeah. And if you really want to grow your brand, you really do have to invest mm-hmm in marketing like right. some stuff with my uh, our online marketing company mm-hmm. I can do mm-hmm. you know at a really mm-hmm. inexpensive cost because mm-hmm. we're not trying to overcharge our clients because right. we really do want right. them to win in the industry right. Right. but there are certain things I'm telling them to do right. that they have to do if they yeah. really want to grow their mm-hmm. brand because mm-hmm. if no one knows about you mm-hmm. why how are they gonna find you on Facebook exactly. you put this bomb video up yeah. and no yeah. one sees it because you're not paying for marketing right. 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 Now, this, now let's repeat that one more time though yeah. because this is so key in this industry mm-hmm. and in all industries mm-hmm. when you're talking about business that you have to invest you have to invest Yes. Your market. Right. Yes, you can't you just rely on everything. You can't. No. You know, okay. like no. there's those times this where it does a, happen. This you go is viral. a digital era. It yeah. is. This is uh, uh, and in this, it this the digital era has actually driven the uh, record industry mm-hmm. as we know it mm-hmm. out of business mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because now you can sit in your house mm-hmm. right with your own equipment, right. record mm-hmm. your yeah. song, mm-hmm. turn around. Pull up a company called TuneCore uh-huh. or iTunes or mm-hmm. yeah. Spotify and put yeah. your music up wow. and put it mm-hmm. out there yourself and promote it online yeah. yourself if mm-hmm. you know how to do it. Yeah. All of that is being done right yeah. sitting mm-hmm. in your living room. Right. So, uh, and these young people mm-hmm. have mastered this process. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, the the truth of the matter is, if you want it to happen for you, but you know you have to have a, you still have to have a budget. Mm-hmm. You do to yeah. Yeah. invest in those, yeah. those, uh, those media mm-hmm. sources that mm-hmm. you're going to use to get your information exactly. out. Right. Right. So, you know, I tell young people all the time, or people who come in, are coming into the industry, or people that are already in the industry, what are you doing? Are you do you have any kind of a budget? You mm-hmm. know, we have a uh, we have a. Um, a sheet that we we uh, when we qualifying people mm-hmm. for uh, artist development or management, mm-hmm. we ask them, "Do you have a budget?" Mm-hmm. We ain't asking, "Do you have a budget?" Yeah. Because we want to take your money. Right. We mm-hmm. ask you, "Do you have a budget?" Because you can't build your brand without, without one. A right. budget, so yeah. if you haven't figured that portion of your mm-hmm. career out, mm-hmm. I would suggest to you. Mm-hmm that you go back to the drawing board and you take a look at it again mm-hmm. because you're not going to walk in a well let me let me rephrase that I'm not going to say you're not going to mm-hmm. I'm going to say it's it's most likely that you will not mm-hmm. walk into a building one day mm-hmm. get on the stage sing a song and somebody sit in the audience and they sign you up right, right. there on the spot mm-hmm. that is a that is a very slim chance that it's going to happen it has happened mm-hmm. but it's very slim that it will happen I say to you invest Mm-hmm. Invest, invest. Mm-hmm. If that, if you want something to work for you, don't come sit in my seat in my office mm-hmm. and ask me to dig in my pocket and invest in you, and you're not willing to dig in your pocket and invest in you. I love that. I love that. And, I, and I'm going to say, n- don't just go back to the drawing board. Reach out to New Image Reach Entertainment out. so that you can go back to the drawing board with yeah. some knowledge Absolutely. behind what it is that you're doing. Now, before I go, because there's so much, we I'm getting into this conversation, <laughs> and I know we've already passed our time, but yeah. before I do go... 
this time, um, because we're going to have you all back. Uh, I want you to tell us just a little bit about your radio show. Oh, Jim, well, uh, New Image. Jim, Jim America is the station show. we're on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and this New, New Image, Image Industry Smarts Radio that's Show. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're we share stuff about the music industry, okay. and okay. we like to uh, highlight up and coming artists yeah. mm -hmm. and their their songs. But they have to be professionally produced, okay. radio ready, no cursing, no cursing no cursin as and old if folks. You send it to yeah. us, and we like it. We'll play it we'll play on it. the radio station. Well, even if we don't like it, if it's we'll, professionally yeah. done, we'll play it and and just to support you. Just mm -hmm. to support you. Because yeah. we love you like yeah. that. Yeah. I, I really do. That. I love that. Now tell yeah. everyone, with that note, because I, I can imagine now your phone's going to ring off the hook and your email is going <laughs> to fill up. Um, tell everyone how they can get in touch with you. One, so they can find out more about New Image Entertainment mm -hmm. and then how they can, can bring you all on as part of their team. And then also how they can get in touch with you regarding your radio show. Okay, well our website is New Image. Mm -hmm mgmt.com and if you guys would like to send us some of your professionally produced radio ready songs you can send those to Tony and Trisha at jamamerica.com and if you follow us on Twitter at jam with two m's jam america we follow back that's right we most definitely <laughs> do and if you need to send um uh, any information to us in reference, if you go to our website, there is, you'll hear me talking when, mm -hmm. I, when the website comes up, there is a little form that you can click on and you can fill that form out and that form will come directly to us. It even comes to my phone and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, re I'll respond to you immediately mm -hmm. uh, in reference to filling out that form. So mm -hmm. uh, and That's for that's artist management. Artist or management development. or development. Mm -hmm. Preferably development if you're not... Um, I'll just say this: celebrities, most celebrities, reach out to me a different way. But if you're, if uh, if you're not a celebrity, then we tend to uh, uh, steer you to artist development. Mm -hmm. But but don't let that deter you. Mm -hmm. Great, Tony and Trisha, thank you so much for joining thank us. I, I have learned a lot myself. I'm looking forward to learning more. Everyone, make sure that you reach out to Tony and Trisha with New Image Entertainment. Um, we're going to get them back. Please follow our. Um, website at www.bizlinks.tv. Also, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash bizlinks TV. Give us some thumbs up and let us know, you know, if this is the information that you're looking for because I'm, I'm telling you, I already got it in my head. We're going to bring them on. We're going to get a show uh, with, with Tony and Trisha because this is a lot of <laughs> great information uh, for you all. And we all love to highlight businesses. We love to highlight artists. You all love to highlight artists. That's what we are all mm -hmm. about, exposing uh, your business. And as an artist, you are a business yes, and we want to make sure that we expose you as well also follow us on facebook at facebook.com forward slash bizlinks tv i'm pamela alexander your host of that's my biz and remember with bizlinks tv network we expose your business to the world Thank you for joining us. Today's show can be viewed on demand on our website at www.bizlinks.tv. If you are interested in having your products, services, or special cause showcased on our program, submit an inquiry to That's My Biz at bizlinks.tv. In addition, information on advertising and hosting your own show can be found on our website at bizlinks.tv.